Good morning. I'm Keith McKinnon from Masonic Curators. And today we have in front of us a Masonic Low 12 Bell slash Gong box. Now, it's a little bit different than the other gong and bell that we have shown in our past. And if we can, one of our upcoming episodes of One Socket, Rhode Island, we have a very unusual um, gong that will be uh, shown by Rob Jackson. But today I have this box that I'm thinking is probably about 1880s in age. First of all, it is made out of a thin wood, maybe a walnut. I have a bottom top four sides. One side there is a small opening and that is covered over by a black mesh. And the other side is a little bit more decorative, a larger opening with also a black mesh. Now, <clears throat> it's very simple in design. <clears throat> in this area here is a, what I believe is a lead crystal bowl that has a hole draw in the middle and then that bowl is connected to the bottom of the box in this area you have what looks like a plunger uh, the hammer head which is a rubberized material uh, that goes on a shaft that runs down and screws to the bottom of the box. That hammer is then connected by a wire to this level, lever. Uh, and then pulling back on the lever, you pull back on the hammer. And as you let it go, the hammer then strikes the bell. There is a small pin here which is basically telling you that's the max that you could put any torque on the lever. Um, I think if you did it any, more, any further, you would probably crack the bell. Uh, very simple design, the box, very simple design inside. We do have a label underneath. And the green one does say Baker's Low 12. And I'm saying probably gong or bell. I will look up this company uh, for more information. And then below it, I believe, is a George something, Masonic Low 12. Now, I've seen these in Masonic catalogs, um, some dating back to the 1860s. I believe these are a little bit more, less expensive than some of the more decorative Low 12 bells that were out there. I believe this was more geared to the smaller large rooms uh, compared to a large room because you will hear in a second it's not not very loud. Beautiful chime, but not very loud. Um, nice silver plate here. Not sure what this is. Some sort of a white metal. And then it's got a number of brass tacks at the top that holds the top to the sides. And let me get to the larger opening so you can hear the bell better. And this is a manual piece, so you're going to have to do it 12 times by hand. So with that, here is another Masonic Low 12 gong slash bell box for your viewing. We hope you enjoyed this quick episode. Uh, Chuck is still working on retrieving our past episodes of four different buildings we have been at. Uh, we do have well over 20 plus uh, tapings we, we have to retrieve. Um, but in the meantime, we'll try to do a couple of these shorties. You know, if you like what you see, please hit the like button. Please, you know, we'd love to hear a comment. Maybe you guys have one of these in your building somewhere. Um, they're a great piece of Masonic 
old history. So again, we, the crew at Masonic Curators, Brian, Michael, Randy, Rob, Chuck, John, and myself, hope I didn't leave anybody out, uh, we want to thank you so very, very much for your continued support, your subscriptions, watching us on YouTube, and passing the word about Masonic Curators. Thank you. Take care.